Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you're dropping an early like as well. But today is the end of the first weekend of the Black Ops Cold War beta. It is 6pm. Literally the beta has just closed. They managed to squeeze in a few extra games this evening. And I just wanted to talk about what I thought of the beta the first weekend and what I hope the next uh, weekend will bring. For the beta, as I know, they do change a couple of things during this week period. Obviously, they take the you know the information they've got so far from the beta, and I think they alter a couple of things. I'm pretty sure they did that in the Black Ops 4 beta. I could be wrong. Obviously, we know we're going to get a new level cap. What that'll be, I don't know. Obviously, we'll discuss that in just a minute. And all what I thought, basically comparing this to the alpha and what they've played from the game so far. The first thing first, comparing the beta to the alpha, I've seen. To be honest, not a huge deal of difference what I could really tell from just playing the game anyway. The movement doesn't seem as smooth as the alpha in my opinion. You guys may or may not disagree with this. The sniping didn't feel as clean as the beta. Uh, I mean the alpha, but then again, I didn't actually use the, is it the Remington or something like that? The Relington, I, I forget the name of the sniper that you do get in the beta so far. Uh, the other sniper, I can't remember the name of that one. There isn't a default class in the beta, but I didn't actually use it. I think you unlock that around level 36, so hopefully with the level cap increase, I'll be able to use that sniper and try that one out and compare. Uh, but obviously I didn't use the first sniper you unlock in the beta. So I couldn't really compare, but from what I could gather, the sniping didn't feel as nice. It still felt absolutely amazing to me. I really enjoyed sniping, uh, just but to be honest, I wasn't the best. I, to be honest, I did feel like I was better at sniping in the alpha. But like I said, it doesn't feel exactly the same, but does feel real nice, uh, pretty much. Anyway, so really, really happy about that. Uh, a gun that stood out for me in the beta definitely was the Krig AR. I never actually used this gun, but I found myself getting beamed by this, you know, the majority of the time. I was very, very experimental with the guns I used. Some just didn't work for me, like the XM4 just was a nightmare for me. I really, really hated using that gun. I couldn't get anything, uh, you know, I couldn't string anything together with that gun or get a good gameplay. Uh, my favourite gun is the AK-74U as a standard in the Alpha. It was an absolute beast. In the Beta, it's an absolute beast again. The Milano SMG is something I didn't actually use in the Alpha, but in the Beta, it was, it's an absolute machine. I know it was a monster in the Alpha as well. Uh, so that is like the first, one of the first SMGs to use. So if you guys are an Xbox player or a PC player, waiting to get your hands on the beta this weekend uh, you know the milano smg is definitely a go-to weapon for me uh, followed by the xm4 a lot of people seem to use it i personally couldn't get along with it but it still is a very very strong ar uh, so i recommend trying that one out as well and the krig when you do unlock that and the ak-74u as well the MP5 as well is a very strong SMG. I found that the SMGs in this beta are all very, very strong. The MP5, and I'm not kidding when I say this, without zero attachments, it has zero recoil. I know you see them YouTube titles, zero, YouTube titles, zero recoil class at us, but on my days, it literally has zero recoil. It's literally a laser beam, so I doubt that's going to, uh, you know, I think that's going to get changed by the full release of the game because that is just stupid. It was a very, very strong SMG uh, in, this, in this weekend. Uh, the AK-74U has next to no recoil as well. Uh, very very strong at range i felt like a lot of the time at range it's sort of like an ar the time to kill on this thing at range is very 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 quick uh, you might see a couple of long range kills in this gameplay to be fair maybe uh, depending on how long this video is the milano smg has a little bit of recoil but still up close it's very very you know mini uzi vibes uh, very very strong i'm trying to think you know i'd probably compare it to the mp7 uh, if i was to compare it to anything off of uh probably modern warfare uh just with a little added recoil very strong very good at range if you can control the recoil patterns uh very just an all all round a very very good smg probably the one that's got the best mobility is the milano um the only thing i didn't like during these uh, this weekend was the ranking up your weapons which isn't a problem but the time it takes to rank up these weapons i don't know if i was playing awful uh you know majority of the time i didn't i, I didn't do to have too many standout games i had some decent games uh this gameplay is probably one of my better ones, which is still isn't amazing. I had a very, very average round here, but the second round I do pick it up and go on a bit of a tear. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But ranking up your weapons just seemed to take forever for me. I wanted to get the attachments on my weapons straight away, especially with the sniper. Uh, and it just took so long to unlock them. I think I'm level like 11 is my max rank on the weapons right now. No, it's not. It's like level 15. And that's for the Milano SMG, which I did use heavily uh, on Saturday. I basically just used that gun all day. So if you're grinding, it's not going to be too much of an issue, but if you're just hopping on for like maybe a couple of hours or so, it's going to be very, very tough to, you know, get the weapon attachments that you need to just make the gun a little bit stronger. I do find as well the attachments in this game have a very, very strong impact. Like the sprint to fire speed for me in this game without any attachments on is very, very slow. It's very difficult to, you know, get ready for a gunfight whilst full sprint, which it is anyway in any game. Uh, but once you get the right attachments, it obviously helps. Obviously, that's just like any game. 
but it seems to be just a little bit stronger, a little bit more noticeable without any attachments on in this game personally. I'd love to see a few more game modes added into the next weekend. Maybe a search and destroy would be pretty cool. Uh, a bit more hard point. There's no hard point meeting into the beta just yet and this Mosh Pit playlist. I think the only game modes we had is, well I know the only game modes we had is TDM, Kill Confirm and Domination, which is fine. I did play a little bit too much TDM, maybe too much TDM than I did like. Uh, I was struggling to find any DOM games to be honest and the DOM games I did have I really did enjoy. Uh, Satellite still being my favourite map as well. The only thing I would love to see changed by the full release of the game, obviously it's not going to be changed by next week and is the on the cartel map you guys will know when you, if you've played it if you haven't you'll soon know there's bushes in all over the map and people can literally sit in there if you think back to Fortnite season one bush camping made you invisible right it's basically that if someone's sitting in a bush which people do sit in the bushes you can't see them whatsoever or if you're just running through the bushes and you can hear footsteps and you're looking around you frantically you literally cannot see them the bushes are op as hell i'd love to see the bushes completely removed to be honest like just fully taken out and that map would be a very 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 good map you know it's, it is a nice map it gives me serious like black ops one vibes and to be honest this game in general Gives me a slight Black Ops 1 vibe with, you know, a revamp in the graphics. I don't know what it is, but it's just giving me that vibe with sort of a Black Ops 4 movement. That's how I describe this game. Black Ops 1 with Black Ops 4 movement uh, and mechanics. Like the, the look of the game reminds me of Black Ops 1. I don't know what it is. Maybe it, sh maybe it shouldn't. Maybe because it's Cold War theme, but I don't know. The cartel map anyway just gave me serious Black Ops 1 vibes. Uh, maybe you guys can relate if you do play that map. If you did play that map, should I say. But hopefully... You know, going into weekend two, we should see a lot of changes, a lot of new game modes. But all in all, I would definitely say this weekend has been a blast. I'm going to really, really miss playing, uh, not being able to play uh, this game throughout the week. But hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, you probably won't see any Modern Warfare videos from me this week as well. I do have quite a few Cold War videos stocked up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on them. So it should be Cold War content every single day this week. And obviously going into the weekend, I'll be streaming it a little bit more. I may stream from uh, Warzone this week, or maybe not, just because Cold War is the hype right now. Uh, you guys might not be too fussed on watching a Warzone stream, but let me know anyway. But apart from that, guys, hopefully guys enjoyed the beta as well. I loved it. Looking forward to Season 2. Season 2, Weekend 2, it's going to be a blast again. Look out for some streams that weekend as well. I really enjoyed the stream we did the other day, so thanks for the support on that if you guys did come out to that stream. Did a lot better than I did expect, and sorry, I'm rambling right now. I'll leave you guys to it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them are in the description below. Make sure you smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the Cold War content coming in the next weeks, all the way up until the release. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.